Hi children, how are you? I'm your science teacher. I hope you are at home and safe from Corona virus. And be safe. Be at home. Play at home. Do something new at home these days. Right? Okay. I, I think you can remember our previous lesson that is about animal diversity. Uh, we have studied about animals diversity. Diversity means differences. But how can we group the animals according to the differences, differences and similarities? I told you very clearly last class and if you want to do any classification, grouping work, you have to consider the similarities, not the differences. And if you take all the animals together, like the, just let me go through the short uh, revision about the previous lesson. If you take all the animals and all the plants, in one place and we can divide them into two groups two plant groups and two animal groups and uh, according if you take the plants according to the existence of flowers some plants have flowers some plants do not have flowers so the plants which have flowers flowering plants do not have flowers non-flowering plants the very basic things flower is a very important part of uh, plants but if you take uh, the animals, some animals have backbone, skeleton and mainly the backbone. The other animals do not have skeleton or the backbone. So the animals which have backbone we call vertebrates, animals which do not have uh, backbone we call them invertebrates. Vertebrates, invertebrates, flowering plants and non-flowering plants. These are the very basic place of classification, classifying different types of animals. So if you take this criteria, this, uh, we can divide all the animals into two major groups, vertebrates and invertebrates. I hope you can do this. And I gave you some ideas about this and I sent you an assignment. I hope you have done that, you enjoy and done that, right? And I have given you a big work into the assignment that is making something special, a booklet, and you have to use internet and search and find so many things just before the lesson, I searched in the internet for 10 minutes and I found so many new things, interesting facts about the animal world. And this free time, you have to use your internet, not much more data and you can gain more knowledge. And there are lots of things to be excited. So now, and this is the chapter number 2 and just let me, so some, one thing is missing, so let me fill that in the revision. And if you take the vertebrates, I have divided the vertebrates into five different groups according to their similarities. Again, we are grouping according to the similarities, not according to the differences. If you group them according to the similarities, for example, if you take all the fish and they have fins, they have gills, right? According to the fins and gills, we put them all into one group, not because of their... <coughs> not because of their differences right later we consider the differences and we can find uh, identify them so fish pieces one group they have backbone the second one is amphibians amphibians and they live both in water and land so we call them amphibians right they can live in uh, two different habitats they need uh, two different habitats third one is reptiles which were adapted to live in land completely. <coughs> so reptiles, they can uh, <coughs> move on the land. Crocodiles, snakes, uh, these things are reptiles. They have backbone. <coughs> the next one is aves. Again, aves. Aves, aves means all the birds together in one group. So birds, what are the common features of the birds? So very common uh, feature of the birds is the beak. They have a beak without any teeth. But if you closely observe, birds do not have teeth, they have a beak. So whoever having beak, they are birds. For example, if you can think about penguin. Penguin do not have feathers. <coughs> They don't have, they don't have uh, wings to fly, they can't fly. 
and but still they are birds because they have birds sorry beaks <coughs> so these are the five groups of uh, mammals sorry five, five groups of uh, vertebrates so all five groups of vertebrates they have backbone and another five groups of invertebrates you will study in next year in grade 8 animal diversity again one more lesson will come and you will study what are the features common for the fishes uh, amphibians reptiles aves and mammals with the invertebrate groups <coughs> so here we study go to the second chapter of this uh, animal diversity 2 right we are studying the second video lesson of this animal diversity the very special thing the special word I hope you have done uh, the glossary of my previous assignment and if you have done that and it will be very clear for you adaptations <coughs> adaptations of organism to environment you know what is the meaning of environment the place we live and that is environment and adaptations what is adaptations so let me define that ability to change according to their environment ability to change according to their environment is called uh, adaptations I am adapted to my environment and you are adapt adapted to your environment and all the animals and plants are adapted according to their environments then only they can live in their place and if you are not adapted to live in your place you will be wiped out from your environment for example right we are living in a temperate place that means little high temperature place if I go to Canada suddenly then it is difficult to live there I can't wear the dress I am wearing here I have to change my dress and I have to change my lifestyle by right? during the <coughs> uh, snowfall time and I have to stay at home I have to be very careful uh, otherwise what may happen I will be killed right so if you want to uh, live you have to adjust according to your environment right for example you can see the any uh, plants some plants right the plants which are growing in a very uh, moist place very good soil cannot grow in the desert the plants which are growing in the desert cannot grow in uh, moist soil so they are adapted for example if you take the plants in the desert they are adapted to live with less water <coughs> it's very difficult to grow them in other cool places <coughs> so likewise so everything has to change but very simple example I can tell you right just three weeks before I was teaching in the classroom in front of you and using different materials and now because of corona we all stay at home our environment has change so we have to change otherwise you cannot learn and I cannot teach so what is the change we have done is through the whatsapp right I am at home and you are at your home I am teaching in front of a camera and we are sending those videos at, to your device and you can learn so we have changed if I say no I can't change I have to go to school I have to teach my students mean what will happen police will take me and arrest me and put me inside the jail if I want to survive if I live I don't change I will be wiped out so I have changed I am safe and you have changed you are safe and we are living in the environment if you don't change we can't live so ability to change is called adaptations so if you are ready to adapt to your environment you can live your life and if I am ready to adapt to my environment I can live my life this is the lesson you have to learn from science so wherever you go you have to study about the environment the people around you and you have to change according to that this is the lesson from science so here we can see but you think about the different types of animals some are uh, uh, swimming some are flying some are running some are walking uh, so according to this they have different type of uh, moving uh, locomotory organs for example I have legs and it is good for walking and running right if you take the fish it can it doesn't want to walk or run it want to swim 
what will happen if they have if they fight i want a leg can they swim it's very difficult they have fins to swim so they can't walk and their environment it is better to swim so they have adopted uh, fins and birds they are able to fly they want to fly so if they have fins can they fly they can't so they have wings to fly so according to their uh, mode of movement they have selected their uh, locomotory organs <coughs> so they are living in their life so here we are going to study two important things of animals and that uh, help them to exist in their environment and that is one is the color the other one is shape and here we are going to study how the color of the organism is helping that particular animal to live the life in their environment second one the shape of the animal how the shape of the animal helps to live in their environment so there are a lot of different types of uh, uh, <coughs> adaptations are there both in animals and plants and but here we are going to study only two types of uh, uh, factors adaptations uh, color and shape so i gave you an assignment again i am stressing you the assignment is about camouflage listing out 20 different types of animals which are showing camouflage to live to escape uh, from their predators and to live their life in their environment don't forget that just keep it make it very nice make it colorful make it beautiful and find a uh, uh, different types of pictures and paste them and make it very beautiful okay now we check the how the color is helping them for example right i'm standing here the, my background is white and i'm wearing a red color shirt so now tell me can you see me very clearly or not i will give you five seconds one two three four five now you have decided right i am clearly visible right because of my dress the my envi my dress is different from my environment so i am clearly visible to you for example imagine if i am wearing a white color shirt white color trouser white color belt and my background is also white my hair is also white means and what do you think about uh, the clear visibility I, think, I, I hope it is difficult to find me just I can stay like this and without any movement just taking some amount of a white color powder and apply in my body and full of white and I am blended with my environment blended means I am merged and it is very difficult right my sound is coming and you have to search where is the teacher and what happened to him right so this is what will happen for now think about this i am an animal you are an animal this is our environment i am a red color my environment is white color right you are the predator that means you are hunting and eating i am the prey right so if you want to hunt and kill me and you have to see me very clearly so in the white background if i am a red color and you can spot me very easily you can kill and eat me right if i am white color that my environment is white and i am white wearing full of white and white and you are searching me and it is very difficult to find me uh, differentiated from my environment so you don't eat me you can't eat me you can't hunt me so this is how some animals are escaping from their predators how their body is blended they are living in one certain place they are not moving they are not taking visa and going to different countries if the for example if you take different types of uh, forest different types of animals will be there right uh, if you go to the amazon forest you can't find uh, tiger lion elephant those kind of animals you can't you can never find them right if you go to south africa african countries right they are not very dense forest the grasslands where you can find a lot of animals the elephants 
uh, lion, tiger, this kind of things you can find. So their background is pale yellow color. You can see deers and they are pale yellow and then spotted are there. But if they stay in one place, it is very difficult to find them. They are blended with their environment. Like my environment this is white and I am wearing a white color shirt. I am blended. Both same colors. Difficult to differentiate. So predators cannot find and the prey will be escaped and they can live their life. The same thing you can see in the predators, right? So if the prey is hiding, the predators also, for example, if you take the lion, it's a different color. This, the, the color of the lion will blend with its environment. Uh, that forest is not exactly green color. There's a, a dry grasses, the pale yellow color. So the color of the lion and the background will match. So it is very difficult to find the lion is coming. They will come very slowly. So it is easy. It is both helpful for the prey and predators. Predate, pre prey is escaping from the predator by blending its color with the environment. And the predators also uh, finding place to hide and stay with the environment, blend with the environment to catch their prey. So both are uh, using that techniques. But some animals are there, they are very special, right? For example, I am a special type of animal, just my color is red now and this is white color environment. So I am just touching the white color and my body changed to white color, right? So for example, and this is a different color, I am touching this one and my body is changing into this color, wood color. So it is very difficult to find. And this kind of organisms are there. Some animals are there. They can, they have the ability to change their color according to the environment. If they are moving in a, a gray color wood, and their body will be gray color. If they are moving towards the, the green color branches, their body will change into green color. If they fall on a yellow color, uh, surface and their body will change to yellow color because uh, in their skin they have some uh, chromatophores. The chromatophores means some color pigments and some chemical change happens and they, they can change their uh, body color. So they can blend with the uh, color of the environment and it is very difficult to spot them. Right? This is called camouflage. Again, this is camouflage, blending with the environment by its color or doing some other fake things to hide their self is called camouflage. You can check your uh, glossary that I have given in the list. Camouflage, camouflage, the word camouflage. Some animals have the ability to show camouflage. Uh, I can remember this, there is an animal called armadillo. Right, so what it, it is like a, a reptile, it can move like a crocodile, and suddenly, what will happen? There, is, there are some uh, covers, the scale on the body. If some predators are coming closer, what will happen? They will roll their body and make it like a bowl. Right, so there is no way to uh, find a very soft place, the scale is very hard. So, the, the predator will just come and play with that, try to eat. It cannot eat, it thinks it is a uh, type of a stone and just kick it out and go away and later it will just come open and come out and it will go it is a type of camouflage not only color changing there are different camouflages are there you can find it right so that is the beauty of color right if the if the animals want to live in their life and they have to adapt if they want to adapt the adaptation is very important for existence to find food to escape from the predators, to find the shelter, the place to live. It's all important. If they don't adapt, they will die. Right? So the one factor to be adapted is color. Right? For the animals, they are very important. It's the other animals, not for the humans. The animals which are living in the forest, it is very important to blend with their environment, color. Right? The next one is shape the okay right i will give you some advice when you read the text uh, textbook and go to the page number 81 and 82 there is a activity 
right? The, with the, this whatever I have explained with the background color and the animals color and there is activity such activity and some questions are there just go and do that and before doing my next assignment just do it as an assignment and then uh, I will ask you some questions related to that okay again page number 81 and 82 activity uh, I think 6.2 activity number 6.2 okay now we come how shape is helping to the animals to live their life right shape is very important for example right uh, this is my body right for example if I take this book and this is a book a box uh, cuboidal shape this is a cuboidal shape cuboid shape box and imagine now this is a fish this is a fish this is a big box and it is a fish and it is trying to swim right it has fins to swim what will happen it is uh, how it is, how it will feel right if it swim in this way or if it swim this way which way will be easy to swim for example you can think right and if it, if this object has to move in this way into the water the surface is very big so the water will resist very difficult to move but if you keep this way right you can see here the very short narrow and if it move very easily right that is called for example the animals which are flying and swimming they are they, they should have a very special type of body shape for example and you can check the fighter jets aeroplanes have a particular shape right and this shape some kind of this shape and this is called streamline right so the two ends will be narrow right the body is body is narrow flat flat and narrow the front side is very sharp and when it go back it will become big and again it will become the narrower side this is called streamlined shape this shape if you take any fish and 99.9% .9 of the fish are streamlined shape now you can think they can move easily but they can cut the water and move easily if they are very fat big size fish and it is very difficult to cut the water and go so they have managed the shape of their body but if you cut a fish uh, in this way right it will be look like this this is the shape of the fish if you cut the aeroplane this is the shape of the aeroplane finally or fighter jets jets all are in this shape it is easy to cut the water and go through that and if you take the uh, birds which are flying they have the same mechanism their body if you just take them their body right you may have hold the pigeons in your hand some of you have pigeons right their body shape is if you hold them you can feel this shape streamlined shape when they fly it is very easy to cut the air and fly through that so these are the things two things and the animals want to change and you know adapt to their environment if they want to fly and if they want to swim they should have a streamlined shape i don't have a streamlined shape my shape is different for example you can see the runners athletic runners 100 meters 200 meters or long uh, uh, distance runners and they try to maintain the uh, shape uh, which is easy to run we call that a streamlined shape but right? they do some exercises to maintain their body structure in order to cut the air resistant and run faster so again we come again these adaptations of organism to the environment they want to change according to the environment in order to live right otherwise they will be wiped out or killed now what is happening the corona is spreading everywhere the government says the stay at home right but if i think i have to change i it's very difficult i know it's very difficult to stay at home and you have to try to do something new and you have to try to stay at home right if you say no i can't stay at home i can't change my life if you go outside and you will come up with corona and it will be admitted to idh so you have to be very careful you have to change if you want to exist if you want to stay if you want to live you have to change your lifestyle your mindset your body 
the structure everything we have to change okay the next one the last part of this lesson is very familiar and you have enjoyed last year uh, i think you can guess it and it is wonderful right playful that is nothing else dichotomous key and dichotomous key means just i will give you 3 seconds just recall the previous last year experiences dichotomous i will give some uh, group of animals and you just quickly have a look and they check the differences how many legs they have uh, whether they are flying where are they living and what type of uh, how are they feeding these things you just quick go through and just divide them into in this way right just divide into two and here something and again divide into two and here something divide them into two and here something divide into two like as you will divide 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 until you will end up just only one group one, sorry one individual animal stay here this is called dichotomous key right and here we just check only few external features we don't just check inside the structures very detail whether they have backbone or do not have backbone just 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 whatever we see just we use them to uh, divide them into groups but this is type of artificial classification so whatever we have studied just earlier uh, div dividing the animals into vertebrates invertebrates vertebrates into five groups and uh, fishes amphibians reptiles aves and mammals and this is the scientific natural uh, type of classification but still it is needed and is very playful and you can expect one question in your term test also and in assignments and uh, surprise questions will be uh, coming to you okay here dichotomous key i will tell you the same things that i told you in grade 6 about how to make a dichotomous key whether a group of animals or plants are given uh, at once you have to divide it, it into two groups initially you have to divide them into two di means two cotamus means branches dichotomous two branches any number of animals or plants you have to initially divide them into two 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 groups but when you divide when you divide them into first time into two group first time you have to consider only one factor for example i have given some animals here you are dividing right some animals can swim some animals can't swim for example you have divided them you have to consider only one factor in one time able to swim in one side and the other side should be opposite to that unable to swim right having two legs and do not have two legs have beak do not have beak whatever you are writing one side and you have to write the opposite thing to other side likewise you can make such things i think you have uh, done very well in the last year then your previous batch and i i i i could see the difference in your uh, exam papers and i hope this will be very easy and don't worry i will give you a very easy question in the next uh, assignment about this but don't forget about my camouflage assignment it should be very important it, be, it is very important for me and i am waiting to find and do different things and if you can find 25 or 30 different camouflages this do, doesn't matter minimum is 20 the maximum there is no limit just you find and add the description and the picture are very important in one page one animal and small description about that how it is showing uh, the camouflage okay so this is very interesting and search more about animal world there are a lot of interesting things you can find in national geographic channel and the discovery channels and animal planet these things and uh, youtube videos you can find so many things and it is the time to see the beauty of the world through the internet okay i hope you will study this lesson and be ready for the next lesson and before the video lesson i will send you pre assignment and you read the book 
and do the pre assignment and wait for the video lesson and see the video lesson and after that you will get one more assignment in the same subject uh, and all together two pre assignment and post assignment right okay see you in the next lesson